Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And one of our members was asking me, how do you upload a signature in Design Space? So let's say you have some memorabilia from a parent that you would like their signature or maybe your children's signature, whatever. How would you do that if you wanted to cut it out? So I'm going to show you that. And um, the first thing you want to do is you need to start with a good, clean photo, okay, so of that image. Um, so I recommend that you use white paper and if, if possible, and you use a black marker for the signature like a Sharpie. You want something that's going to be dark, what gives you the best image. Now, let's say you're using an old letter from uh, maybe a grandparent that's passed away or something and you want to use their signature, I would recommend that you take that um, signature and you make a photocopy of it and then go over it with a black Sharpie so that you'll get a good clean image with it. Um, if it doesn't look like it's you know dark enough when you take when you make the photocopy of it, so take a black and white photocopy of it, and then go over it with a sharpie just to kind of clean it up a little bit, and then you'll get a pretty good image that way. Now um, you're going to go into Design Space. Once you have your photo and you save that to your computer somewhere, you're going to go into Design Space and go over into Upload Images. And then you want to click on images and we're going to go to browse and you'll go to wherever you have saved this on your computer. OK, so I'm just going to come down here. I just have this is just my junk folder of stuff. So um, I just threw it out there. Where did I put it? OK, I'm going to use this one. And this was on white paper. It looks a little yellowed uh, when we put it in design space, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then I'm going to click simple image. OK, um, you can you can change that depending upon, you know, what it is that you're uh, uploading. But for this, we're just going to do simple image. So once you get that little green check over here under simple image, then you're going to hit continue down here in the corner. And now I want to crop that. OK, so I'm going to go here to my cropping tool, which is the little square with the line through it. I'm going to click on that and then you're just going to you'll get the cursor and you want to just go in and capture that image of the signature. OK, so now we have this and now I want to go over here to the uh, select and erase or what we call the magic wand. So you're going to click on that and then you will come back and you will see the the X cursor again and you're going to click on the background. Now when you do that it's going to change it to that um, blue and white check pattern and then you want to where any time any place where you have these loops in your signature you want to go in and click that again until it changes to the background to that blue and white background. Okay so this is pretty easy. Um, okay so now you have it. I just want to look and make sure I didn't miss anything. And then you're going to click continue down here in the corner. And it's going to pop up and you have two choices here. It automatically defaults to a print and cut file. You do not want it as a print and cut file if you want to be able to cut this out. Let's say a vinyl and you're going to put it on an object or something or maybe you want to cut it out of cardstock or whatever material you want to cut it out of. Um, you need to change it by clicking on the other one that says save as a cut image. OK, so now it's going to be a cut image and then you can come over here and you can um, name and tag your image. So I'm just going to say um, Debbie signature. OK, and then under tags, I'm just going to put signature and then I'm going to say save. This is just so I'd be able to identify this image easier. OK, so now over here in once you click that, you'll go back to your uploaded images library. Automatically it pops you back over here and you can go in and you would select the image that you want to upload. And then you come over here and you say insert images. 
and now your signature is in design space you can size it however you want to size it and then you can click the go button over here oh and see in the layers panel you'll notice that it is indeed a cut file because it has the scissors there and you hit go and then you would be able to cut it out of whatever material you want to cut it out of so that's as easy as it is um, let me know if you have any questions and i hope you enjoyed this short tutorial bye